Oh yeah, that's the opening animation. Ooh, and the opening animation is over. Hi, welcome to the, uh, whatever it is this is. I don't know if it's a show or it's camera woman and me in the loft trying to make some food so you guys can understand what we're doing. So what we're gonna do here first, we're gonna make a risotto today. But first what we're gonna do is we're still on cocktails. So while we're on cocktails, we're gonna let the wine breathe. So uh, I opened this wine uh, before we went live on TV and I, or on the internet, and I should have opened it when uh, you know you were uh, listening so you'd hear the pop, you know, because I know it's all about the sound effects. But anyway, what we're gonna do is we're gonna just pour out a portion and let it sit in the glass because what will happen is it, it'll aerate. And by the time you start drinking it, it will be much mellower. Okay, so today we're gonna make a sausage and a mushroom risotto. Risotto is a bitch. Like risotto, I think I made it 10 times before it ever came out good. And I've talked to other people who have done the same thing. It just, it's, it's like, you try it, you read the recipe very carefully, you're, you know, you do it exactly as it specifies, and it's just like one disappointment after another. Then you got to around the 10th time, and you go, hey, hang on a second, this is pretty good. With risotto, I think it's about learning kind of the basics and then being very radical, and it's, it's kind of like jazz rice, you know? It's not strict. It's like, you have to be bold. You have to take chances. You have to be willing to play with it. So what we're gonna do today. Like the bread. Like the bread. Well, that's another story. Okay, so uh, camera woman is gonna focus on this. We're gonna heat up a pan, right? I'm gonna put some olive oil in there. There we go, a little bit of olive oil. And this is uh, Portuguese olive oil. And then over here we have taken our garlic and our onion and chopped them pretty fine. Then we have a sausage. This is an Italian sausage. And we have some mushrooms because mushrooms and sausage go really well together. So what we'll do is we'll just chop those up nice and rough like that. Okay, and then we're going to chop these up. Although these you can just pull apart with your hands. You don't even need to chop them like that. Maybe we'll cut these like that a little bit. You know, you can tell that my knife skills are not, uh, you know, a la Francaise, a la Culinary Institute of America. Here's our rice. We got a little bit of parsley here. We, whoops, we have a little bit of chives. And I think this, you know, this is gonna be great because this is, um, this is the uh, sage, and sage goes really well with mushrooms and uh, goes really well with meat. So, had a little bit of sage left over in the fridge. We're gonna use that for this too. Again, it's about bold flavors. Okay, so, our oil. How's our oil doing? Well, look at it. It's looking really shimmery right now. So, we will start with the onions, because the onions always take a little bit more time than the garlic. And while that's happening, we are going to take, uh, this is uh, some consomme that the camera woman made. Okay, it's chicken uh, consomme. And cam camera woman makes really, really amazing consomme. It's like gold in this family. It's like, there was a negotiation this afternoon when there was a decision made to have the risotto. There was a negotiation pertaining to which consomme would be used. Would it be store-bought or would it be camera woman's original organic chicken consomme, and it is the uh, camera woman was convinced to uh, allow Dude to use it. So there it is. Uh, we're gonna heat that up, and I think I put maybe three cups, okay, three cups of that, but you don't need, again, you don't need homemade chicken stock or beef stock, or you can use canned, don't use the one with a lot of salt in it, so try and get the low sodium one if you do. There's boxes that have uh, stocks in it, you know. Again, you can use water, you don't need to be fussy about this, but since we were able to convince camera woman to allow us to use her stock, we're gonna do that. So we're gonna cook the onions a little bit until they are, you don't want them brown, but you do want them to be a little bit uh, soft. clear, soft soften and then of course we keep drinking so just 
uh, an excellent way to ensure that things get done properly in the kitchen. Um, and now we're going to add a little bit of salt and pepper while we have these onions searing like this. And the salt is over here. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Oh, wow. That was really, really. Now, if this was a professional cooking show, uh, they would have fired. to. You'd be fired. They would have to stop. And just put. Wow, that's hot. Okay. But we're not doing that. Au naturel. Yes, we're not stopping. We are, we are war, we are kitchen warriors. Yeah. Okay, I gotta take care of this, because as I told you in one of the previous episodes, the most expensive thing the camera woman and I own, including jewelry and percussion instruments and all of those things, well, the percussion instruments were given to me, but the most expensive thing we own is this baby, made in Pennsylvania. Okay, so, uh, the onions are ready. I'm going to put the garlic in. Okay. And then I am going to... Whoops! There we go. And the next thing that goes in is the rice. How much rice? Well, I think that's about a cup. Again, you don't have to be fussy. Now this is carnoli. There are three different kinds of rice that are used in Italian uh, risottos. Um, everybody has a preference, a boro, carnoli. I can't remember the other one. Again, you know, because we're not getting paid to do this, we don't really do our research. We're just like, you know, whatever comes to the top of the mind, whatever. I okay. say do it all so we can have leftovers. Okay, well, we, yeah, we're gonna do it all. So, but, but this is the right proportion. This is about a cup. So we're gonna put the, the rice in there, okay? with the onion and with the garlic. And then what we're gonna do, oh man, does that smell good? Can you smell that? That smells fantastic. So what we're gonna do is we're just, we wanna make sure that the rice gets a little bit of the olive oil and gets mixed in there with the, um, with the uh, garlic and the onion. Wanna get it coated with a little bit of, of the oil. See how it's glistening now? So we're just gonna let it sit there for a second. Again, never, Fuss with your stuff too much. So many people just, ugh, they're always touching it. Don't, you don't need to touch it all the time. Stop touching it. Okay. Not touching like, like you touch a woman. Really, like no, no, you don't, not, not, not like that. Not at all. And um, obviously if you're working in a kitchen, you have to be very cautious about subjects of that kind, you know, because there's been a lot of accusations about inappropriate behavior in kitchens. There's been no inappropriate behavior in our kitchen, I can assure you of that. Okay, so, oh, yeah, look what I did. I forgot to put the mushrooms in. Ah, oh, what a disaster. Okay, so you know what we're gonna do? Stuff like that intimidates me, not one little bit. We're just gonna take a pan like that, and we're gonna take the olive oil, put a little bit of olive oil in there, and we're gonna pan sear the mushrooms in there, then we'll put them in there, it's all good. No problem, okay. Now, this is uh, something that I found quite fascinating. The relationship of the wine to the risotto is that you need to put the wine in before you put the stock. As you can see, the stock is warm now, so we can just shut that off because we don't need it to be boiling. We just need it to be warm. Okay, by the way, while, we, while I have your attention, if you are in Quebec, this is one of the most spectacular wines below $20. In fact, if you drink this wine, it is a uh, Bordeaux Blanc, and it is, it is one of the most spectacular wines. I mean, it tastes like in an $80 wine. Any, in any event, uh, camera woman and I buy it by the case. We absolutely love it. So, Cuvée de Conti, Tour de Gendre. Beautiful wine. Okay, so we're gonna put it in. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to turn it down, and I want all that wine to drain, I want the wine to dry out, okay? We're going to put the fan on.
Now, what you want to do is you want that wine to dry out. And it sounds weird that you would have it dry out like that, but it does actually work. While that's happening, I'm going to put this over here. In. A little bit of salt and pepper. Okay. So come and look at this camera woman. As you can see, it's starting to look whoops, starting to look like um, the wine has dried out. Yeah, that's very good. See the wine is all dried out now. And now, so what we're going to do is we're going to cook these mushrooms. And then we're going to put the mushrooms in with the risotto. There we go. Oh, it's going to be so good. I can tell. I can tell right now. I can tell by the smell of the rice. The rice is getting a little bit roasted, just very subtly roasted, and uh, camera woman is giving me instructions that I don't understand. 11 minutes. Ah, 11 minutes. Okay, so we're going to put this in here, okay, and while that's happening, we're going to take the sausage, come on over here, the sausage, this is an Italian sausage, we're just going to cut it down the middle like this, okay, and we're going to peel it like that, and we're going to put it in here and cook it. We don't want the skin, we just want the sausage, okay? And that's going to cook for a while, and then we're going to put that into the, uh, we're going to put that into the rice. Now there's the bread. Oh, the bread is from a different episode, though. Okay. So. We're just going to fry up this beautiful Italian sausage a little bit. And then... What we're going to do is we're going to add the, we're going to add the stock to the risotto, okay? And then what we're going to do is we're going to stir. So basically for the next, I would say about 16 minutes, we're going to add stock and we're going to stir it like this. As the stock gets dried out, we're going to add more stock. Now, you don't have time to stay with us for the next 16 minutes while we continually do this, so we're gonna check in with you at the end and show you how we finish the dish. Basically, we finish the dish and uh, we'll get back to you about that. Don't go away. Don't you hate that when the, all the internet people say, hey guys, hey guys, hey guys. So stupid. Okay, ow, hot. So, while you were away, uh, we added the sausage. To see, we added the sausage, this pan-seared sausage. And now, I'm gonna add a little bit more of the um, beautiful camera woman's consomme, okay? And we just keep, we keep tossing it around like that, okay? And it just keeps cooking. It's on pretty high. There's a lot of different schools when it comes to risotto. Some people say that it has to be really, really low, really cooked slow. Other people say it has to be very high and stirred constantly. So there's no uh, kind of, nobody agrees on this. However, I am also going to now put in uh, the herbs. I talked to you about the herbs. No, I haven't. Well, I talked to you about the chai. And I've also got some parsley here and I've got some Sage here, and we're going to chop all this up. I'm going to leave out these little stems because we don't really need those. And all the stems and stuff like that, what we do is we put them in the freezer. There's a bag always in the freezer 
And we put these stems and all of the refuge from any kind of vegetables in the freezer. And um, we use that for stock. Whenever we're making soup stock, we use that. So let's show you. Come here. Go into the freezer. There's a bag. See this bag? It's full of all kinds of stuff. Goodies. Like goodies. And then when you go to make a stock, you've got all this stuff instead of throwing it out. No waste. No waste. Okay. Close. Okay, so here we go. We're going to add a little bit more of the um, of the stock. Okay. And you got to rub the bottom of the pan because sometimes the rice starts to stick at the bottom of the pan and you definitely want all that good starch. You want all that good starch to go into your risotto, okay? And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to start to finish the dish. Start we're, to finish? We're going to start to finish the dish. That's, and we're that's gonna, good French. I know. We're going to do that with three elements. The first element is we're going to put the herbs in, okay? Look, watch the herbs go in. And then we're going to put some butter in, mm -hmm. and then we're going to finish it with Parmesan cheese. Okay, so. Now, uh, the butter. Now, good quality butter is always very important. And for this amount of risotto, which is about for two people or three people, I guess you could probably get four people. I'm going to take four, I would say it's about two tablespoons of butter. I'm going to put that in there like that. And we're going to do this. Mix it about. You'll see how green and beautiful the herbs come out, right? And you've got that gorgeous butter going in there. Okay, I'm going to take it off. I feel like it's a little bit too hot right now. I'm going to take it off for a second while, while, we're, while we're finishing it like that. And then I'm going to take my Parmesan cheese. Now, when I was in Italy, I, I used to watch them in the restaurants. And for some reason, I'm not sure exactly why, they would take it and they would, instead of putting it through a grater, they would grate it by hand like this. And... You can only do that if it's at room temperature, which your Parmesan cheese should always be at room temperature when you're going to serve it. Because otherwise, if it's too cold, you won't taste the flavor. And this, just like that. And then you mix it up to make it nice. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. Oh. Does that look good? Okay. I love risotto. Camera woman loves risotto. Love risotto. We're just going to try it and see if it, the, the flavor is the way it should be and if the consistency is the way it should be. You see how it looks all creamy like Don't that? Don't you want it a little bit al dente? Mmm. Oh, that is so good. Mmm. It's al dente. It's got a bit of a bite to it, but it's got a ton of flavor to it. You could use a little bit more pepper. A little bit more pepper. And we are good to go. Hey guys, it's us again. Um, it's been years since I hosted a cooking show and it was a terrible cooking show. I, I didn't, it was awful. Anyway, um, we didn't plate. We should have plated this. I mean, that's kind of like basic cooking show, right? I take the plates out of the oven, they're warmed up in the oven. And then we go over to the risotto. Look at the risotto, see? See how the herbs are nice and green so they're not overcooked. And then you just take a little bit of that. You don't, you don't have to be fancy about this. And then you put it in a beautiful plate, like just these are white bowls from Ikea. I think they were $7 each. <laughs> and, and there you go. It's like so simple. You don't need anything else. That's it. Boom, risotto. Risotto. You'll love it. And you know what? That dish probably cost $1.75, okay? Ciao, enjoy. Mm -hmm.